Hello, I'd like to present a very simple experiment or demonstration which illustrates the scientific method. Um, all you need to do this uh, demonstration is uh, household bleach, which I have in a dropper bottle, and yellow, green, and blue food coloring, and a couple of bottles. I've already put some green food coloring in these two bottles. And I'm going to ask the question, what will happen if we put bleach in one of these two bottles. The other one will act as a control. Before I do that though, I'm going to take some bleach and I'm going to put it on some um, paper and show that it uh, bleaches the paper. Okay? It bleaches the paper. So, uh, you know, you might be asking, uh, well, what, what's going to happen when I put the bleach in the food coloring solution? And one logical thing is it'll remove the color. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, there's other possibilities. It'll change the color. Nothing will happen. All right. Well, let's see what happens when we, we do this. I'm going to add a couple of drops. And... I'll just use my hands. Probably not the safest thing to do, but I can't put my cap. <laughs> okay, so we've mixed it together. And already you can see there's a change occurring. And you can make it a, a slower change by just using one drop of uh, a bleach, or faster if you wanted to, using more. Uh, but it obviously has changed color, and it's gone from y uh, green to blue. So there is a color change here. Now, uh, why did this occur? And you could think of uh, possible reasons. Uh, one reason might be that the bleach, which is sodium hypochlorite, but the, the, the bleach molecule, if you say, or iron, uh, combines with the green dye molecule and they form a complex which has a different color. Now this is not uh, something that students uh, could be familiar with. Um, for example, blood, hemoglobin, when it gets oxygenated, turns red and when it loses the oxygen, it's, it's not as red. So uh, color changes due to complexation are a common phenomenon. I could think of lots of examples, but students might not be familiar with them. Uh, another possibility is that, um, well, if you draw the students out, what makes green? Actually, there are some molecules which are, have display a green color, but uh, actually in food coloring, it's possible that the green color is due to a combination of yellow and blue. And you could easily demonstrate that, of course, by just taking another bottle and putting a drop of blue in. I would suggest using two or three drops of, of yellow. I'll start with two and mixing them up. And you can see we get green. It's not quite the shade, same shade of green, but uh, that depends on the proportion you put in. And you could add a drop of bleach to this, and it would turn blue, all right? Um, so um, one is complexation. The other is that it, it's green, a green dye solution is a combination of blue and yellow. And for some reason, the blue doesn't react with the bleach, but the yellow does. And let's, let's try and demonstrate that by putting some yellow dye. in two bottles, mix them up, and adding bleach to just one of the bottles. I'm going to add four drops just to make things go a little faster. Four and a half. Okay. And And let's see what happens. Well, I think you can see already that uh, the yellow dye that had the 
leech at it has faded. Okay, and um, slowly but surely it's getting almost colorless. Whereas the one without the bleach stays green. Now you could do the same experiment with two blues. And actually the, the bleach does react with the blue. It, it, it destroys the, but very slowly, very slowly. Over a period of the hours, you'll see the blue disappear. But it's a very slow process. But here we see a nice change in color. So I think this is a, a nice illustration of the scientific method. Uh, you uh, make an observation. Your initial observation is that bleach removes the color from paper. You can use green paper. That might be the better um, kind of paper to use, but I didn't have any green, green paper. Um, you take two solutions that are with green dye, add a couple of drops of bleach to one of them. But first, before you do that, you ask the students, what, what, what's going to happen? What do you think will happen? And then uh, uh, you know, when you make the observation, come up with a hypothesis about what happened. Uh, the two that I came up with is, uh, well, three, of course, nothing, uh, that it would uh, make it completely clear, which is the most obvious one, or that it would change the color. And then you observe that it does change the color, and then you try and come up with a explanation of why it changed the color. Uh, one that it formed a complex that has a different color. The other that it this actually contains two dyes: one green, uh, one yellow, and one blue, and it reacts with the yellow selectively. And when you remove the yellow from this, it turns blue. Okay, so uh, uh, thank you for your attention. I hope you can uh, use this, and if you're a student, I hope you enjoyed it and get a little better appreciation for the scientific method. Uh, thank you again for your attention. I'll see you next time.